Go. Yes. How many more did you go through in 30 years? Well, 40 years. <laughs> About five or six. Five or six. <laughs> yeah. We got to run in fuel in it. They let us run the funny cars in, in 65 and 6. And we got to run in big loads of fuel in it. And you lose motors when you do this. <laughs> oh, yeah. They, they run real good as long as you oh, can yeah. keep it together. Yeah. That's a stout machine with a load of nitro in it. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you still race it? or? No. It's worth too much money. I can't stand it no more. You can't stand it because you no. get out there and race it now and blow an engine. It's, yep. it's a lot of jack ain't it oh lord you just couldn't possibly build it back like it is now what size motor's in it 426 hemi have you got a spare hemi sitting somewhere yeah it's like i got a buddy marvin graves got a, a dart back in aniston he's got a couple of spare 426 hemis because mm -hmm. he's got he runs a 426 hemi yeah now, you, if any kind you run sooner or later you're gonna break it so you've been yeah. actually racing this car since 65 yes i run it 65 6 and 7 then i stopped and built me a funny car and run it on the for <laughs> A few years and just parked this one outside and tried to sell it and nobody wouldn't buy it. Why? There wasn't no market for them. I would have took five, six hundred dollars for it. Take five hundred off for it right now? No, I believe I'll wait now. <laughs> you believe you'll wait but, now? Uh, yeah, all of a sudden here come everybody wanting to buy it. I said, well, there's something wrong with this. I better find out what this is worth. I got to checking around. I said, no, it ain't for sale no more. Yeah, it's, you know, Willis is a lot of people looking for Willis's to build and stuff. Oh. And if they can buy one, it's got that motor and all already in it. Yeah, it's all, everything's original, 65 on it. Yeah, I tell people all the time, today's a buying the cars like this for five. $500 is over. That's gone. I think we get $225 for that. $225? Yeah, bought it from a state patrolman. He was a licensed examiner in uh, Columbus, <coughs> Georgia. So, it, it, what, do you have it completely stocked then when you bought it? or? Well, it was just had the old Willis motor in it and all, you know. Did you keep that Willis motor all these years? Nah. You know what that Willis motor off, would be worth these years? Hauled it off for scrap. Didn't need none of them pieces mm -hmm. like that. You know what we that was interested in racing, that's all we had. That's all you was interested that's in. That's all we had in mind. You know what that Willis motor would be worth today? There's no telling. Ain't no telling. Mm -mm. So actually, how long has it been since this car has actually raced? 67. When you had it sitting out there for sale and all, did they have the 426 Hemi and all just yeah, like that? Yeah, just, just like it is now. I don't know, just nobody didn't seem to be interested. How in many it. people standing out there with a road by and seen this car sitting on the five <laughs> side of the road and he had it for sale for five or $600, he'd have sold it and nobody bought it. Yeah. <laughs> Just wanted some money for some fuel, though, I was interested in. All they wanted was gas That's then, right. but yep. Now, is this the, the award you won, the NASCAR Winter Nationals with it? The Winter Nationals, uh, 66 and 67 NASCAR down in Daytona. Now, what's the weight of these? They're not real heavy, are they? The it weighs 2130 with that Hemi and all in it. So it's, it's light. Do you still like to get on it? Oh, yes. I've run it down the track a few times, not put it in no competition, you know. <coughs> Just get out there and play with it. Yeah. What do they say when you come up to the drag strip with this, with a Hemi and this Willis? Well, they all get excited, you know, a little bit. But see, it's still got the old original uh, bar that goes just over your head, you know. Uh -huh. It don't have a full cage in it, so you really can't legally run it nowhere. Not now, so. And just for that end, I don't think I want to try it no more either. <laughs> <laughs> you could, you would back when you was younger. Oh, uh, when I was 30 years old, I'd drive anything. It didn't make no difference. Does it want to pull in, did it want to pull in wheels up a little bit? Oh yeah, it'll jerk them right up. I've stood it up on the back bumper and run it all the way through a quarter. <laughs> Standing on the back bumper? Right. Yeah. You wouldn't let out of it? No, I was enjoying it. Enjoying I'd it. I'd say it didn't have no sense back in. <laughs> didn't have no sense. <laughs> well, mo most people say if you let out of it, if you let it come back down on its own, it'll be all right. But if you let out of it and it falls down, Mm, you don't know do that. You, you tear up something like that. You'd have to float it down. You don't. Well, since then I put wheelie bars on it, and I didn't have them on there at the time. Did you scratch your bumper? Yeah, up on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, it's a good-looking vehicle. Appreciate you being on Thank the show. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy we'll be it. right back. You know, if you have a vehicle, one time or another, you're going to need auto parts. Talladega Auto Parts right there on Battle Street in Talladega has all new auto parts for any types of vehicle. 
Also, Hyman Used Auto Parts in Talladega has over 2,000 vehicles, and you can find about anything you need for any type of vehicle right there at Hyman's. Give them a call today at 362-0705 at Hyman's or 362-1770 at Talladega Auto Parts. Also, St. Clair County, Talladega County, Hyman's also has record service. Give them a call today. When you have an accident and your car breaks down the road, you have so much on your mind, you don't know where to turn. I've got your answer. Skinner's Body Shop and Record Service here in Oxford, Alabama has 24-hour towing seven days a week. They'll be there when you need them. Also, remember, when you do have that unexpected accident, you can choose the body shop of your choice to repair your vehicle. And the Skinner name has been known for professionalism and attention to detail for service for their customers for over 45 years. So stop by or call Skinner's Body Shop today. Tell them Barry Miller sent you by. You know, a lot of people, when you say molded carpet, they don't know what you're talking about. Auto Custom Carpet right here on Noble Street, downtown Anniston. Ken Hale and his staff, they have molded carpet for your vehicle. Molded carpet means it fits right in your vehicle. Pre-cut, all you have to do is pick out the color, tell them to make of the car, go in there on Monday, order that carpet. Guess what? Towards the end of the week, they'll be calling you to pick it up. Go home, it will lay right in that car. Any type car made, they have it right there at Auto Custom Carpet. Go by today or call and tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by. You know, in the state of Alabama, one thing that better be working perfect is that air condition. For all of your central heating and air condition needs, contact Wayne Mazel at Mazel Heating and Air Condition here in Oxford. They are state certified, bonded, and insured. Wayne and his staff do service, installation, new construction, and that yearly inspection. You know, every time you get a yearly inspection on that air conditioning unit, they check the Freon and check everything out, and it saves on that power bill. So give them a call today at 835-0509. Tell them Barry Miller told you to call. Hey, everybody. It's Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys. Cruising the coast. 2007 is going to be right there in Biloxi, Mississippi, September the 30th through October the 7th. Come join us. We're going to be at the Isle of Capri Casino right there in Biloxi. We're going to film our shows in the parking lot. We're going to be staying there, having a great time. All you people from Alabama, if you're watching the show, no matter where you're at, call the Isle of Capri today and book your rooms because we ain't no telling what we're going to do at the Isle of Capri. We're going to do a lot of filming and a lot of partying. So stay with us at the Isle of Capri. Call them today at 1-800-THE-ISLE. Next vehicle, Johnny Wood, a 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air. Johnny, welcome to Big Boys Toys. Thank you. Two-tone 55, love them. Tell me about it. Uh, I've had it about six, five and a half, six years. I bought it pretty much like it is. I've done a little bit to it. Work so much, I don't have time to do anything else. But uh, you got to work a lot to pay for a 55 yeah, Chevrolet this day and time. You're not kidding. You're not kidding. But it's a uh, got a 383-stroker <coughs> engine, got a 700 R4 automatic transmission, uh, tilt, power windows, power seats. Uh, Custom interior, custom trunk. I mean, that 700 R is good down the road. What kind of rear ends on it? That's what you got to worry about this three, day and time. Three, 343 Nova, road gear. Road gear. You can get road out there and ride on the road. Ain't got to worry about it. it. Now, when you bought it, did it have the rally wheels and all that on it? Yep, or? sure did. It was kind of like it got, was. You know, with the 57 spinners, just like it said, the 18 trallies. Did you find it around here or? Marietta. Marietta, Georgia. You from where? Uh, Axley Center. You close. 15, 15, 15 miles. 15 here. miles away. You're not far away. Now, the two tone Bel Airs. That's my favorite. I love 55s, but the two-tones to me are just something about a two-tone that gets everybody's attention. I know. I, I actually had a solid burgundy 55 about 15 years ago, and I liked it. But I, the two-tone has just always caught my eyes. Just like you say, it catches everybody's eye. I, I mean, saw it, people, some people like them solid. I'm just a two-tone. On a 55, I think they just look better in two-tone. Now, what's some of the shows or places you take this one to? I don't go a lot. I go locally around here. Uh, you know, some of the stuff. They have the cruise ins here, and then I go to Rome some. Rome ain't that far away, is it? Uh, 20 miles. 20 miles. From so, Rome. you know, I, I just don't go to a lot of stuff. Uh, do come over here and some of the locals, but that's about it. I don't. Now, mostly what you're doing, cosmetic stuff to yeah, it, changing just, this, that, and the other? Yeah, I did a little bit of stuff. Added a few, like I put a 7 quart Milladon oil pan on it and changed the transmission pan on it to put the aluminum racing transmission pan on it and stuff like that, even though it's not a hot rod car by any means. But uh, other, other than that, changed 
you know, stereo and a few things in it, and that's about it. You can get out and drive it, and, and it sounds good, runs good, get out and drive it, and you ain't got to worry about tearing something up because you ain't racing it and right. stuff like that. Yeah, you can go anywhere in it. Now, the steering wheel on it, is it a 55? 59 Chevrolet 59 Chevrolet, because I was looking at it, and I said, I said, that looks like a 58 or 59 yeah. steering wheel on that car, and I couldn't well, figure out which, I couldn't see the whole thing from here. The interior is out of a 68 Tornado the bucket seats and the console all came out of 68 Tornado. You didn't put Ford parts in no 55 Chevrolet, did you? Tornado. That's, that's oh, a, okay. That's a, Buick. That's Buick. Buick. Yeah, okay. You still got GM yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. I, I, I couldn't have bought it if it had any Ford parts. Yeah, you said it got Ford parts. <laughs> anyway, I couldn't. Tornado. I was thinking of a Ford Tornado. I'm lost as a goose today, ain't it? So nothing else really you want to do to it but just drive uh, it and enjoy that's it? That's it. Drive it and enjoy it. I mean, it's, like I say, it's pretty much just like I bought it. And Did someone around here build it or? No, uh, it was actually came originally from Talladega, Alabama. The guy from that bought that had it, Marietta. He was in a big, a big car club down there. I actually found the car when I was at the Rod Run Pigeon Forge, mm -hmm. and that's where I met the guy. And I wound up buying it about three years after I met him. He wouldn't sell it, and I got his phone number and address. And I call. called him about every six months, and after about two years, he finally sold it to me. But. He, got, he finally he, said, I'm going to have to change my phone number well, or sell this guy this 55 Chevrolet. Well, he got an itch for a convertible 55, so he decided to sell it. You ain't never thought about a 55 convertible? You've had no, everything else? No, I'm not a convertible type of this guy. This one got air in it? Yeah, it does have air. So you can get out tilt, and ride on the road? Tilt, air, I mean, it's, it's got everything on it. Everything sure ready for the road. Right. Well, I'll tell you sure. what, I, now what color blue do you call that? Is it that, like a turquoise? Or? That's 93 Chevrolet truck. Metallic uh, teal. Metallic teal. Yeah, and the uh, other is a Code 11 Cadillac Pearl. Tell you what, it's a good looking Vic. Appreciate you being on Thank the show. You, sir. We'll be right back. One, two, three, Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys. You see the sponsors on this blackboard? These sponsors is what brings Big Boys Toys to you each and every week. If it wasn't for the sponsors and the car owners, you wouldn't be watching Big Boys Toys six, seven times a week there in your home. It's a new show each and every week. We're getting our calendar ready for 2007 right now. If you've got a car show coming up and we're not booked that day, I'll try my best to be there. And if you want to be a sponsor of Big Boys Toys, give me a call today, 283-4404, area code 256, and say, hey, I want to be a part of the number one show in Northeast Alabama. RTL Printing and Sign, Pell City, Alabama. Randy Loverton and his staff can do any kind of printing or sign work you need, from business cards, letterhead. They do the big boys' toys business cards. They do sign work on the outside of the building. He's got a saying, a business with no sign is a sign of no business. And he can do any type of sign, lit signs, you name it, Randy can do it. Banners, he does any type of banners and flyers for car shows, cruise-ins, a little bit of everything. Give Randy and his staff a call today at RTL Printing and Sign at 205-338-9459. Nunley's Glass and Framing, Quintard Avenue, right across from Ron Newton. Tell you what, you guys with old cars, any kind of windshields, he can get them. No matter what year it is, well, going back to the 50s, he can get your windshields. Tinted windows, he tints windows. He's really the glass man, he can do anything. The framing part comes in, you store fronts, he can replace the glass on the store fronts. He frames up the glass on the store fronts. He does about anything. He'll go to Pell City, Talladega, he'll go anywhere. Call him today, to call Guy today. Make sure you talk to Guy Tan Barry Miller from Big Boy Stories told you to call. You know, the most important decision you'll ever make in your lifetime is to purchase a home. And you want the most professional real estate agent in the business. Well, Charlotte Smith of Ghost Star Realty is that agent. Charlotte has helped several families and find, purchase their dream home. From listing, showing, to selling, Charlotte puts her clients first. And remember, no matter whose sign is in the yard of the dream home you want, you can contact Charlotte to professionally handle your purchase. Call Charlotte today at 256-282-0054. Well, summertime, time for a trip to the beach or to the mountains. You never know where you're going to go. I got a place you need to go before you leave. Friendship Automotive, right on Friendship Road, Oxford, Alabama. $59.95. Randy says they'll change your oil on most vehicles. Filter, grease it, check your tires, check your water. They'll check everything on that vehicle before you hit the road. $59.95, that's a great price right here in Oxford, Alabama. Hey, they said if you mention Big Boy Stores, they'll knock five more dollars off of it. And when you go on your trip, you won't have nothing to worry about it because they'll have it all checked out. Stop by and tell them Barry Miller sent you by. We're in the beautiful showroom of Billy Beatty Auto Supercenter right here in Oxford, Alabama. Billy, 
Welcome back to Big Boy's Toys. One of the, he was the first car dealer on Big Boy's Toys and he is back. Thank you, Barry. We're glad to be a sponsor of Big Boy's Toys. We want to invite all of our customers, previous customers. Barry, we got almost 200 cars on this lot. I've been in car business here all my life in Calhoun County, and we want to invite in all of our customers, any new customers. We love to trade here, Barry. Even you, you've bought four cars from us in the last two years. I bought a lot of cars here. And hey, you old guys, when you come down here, he's a car enthusiast too. You got vets sitting around here, Camaras. He can show you anything you want to see, but his specialty is these late model cars that's just gorgeous. Next vehicle, Justin Wood, a 1967 Chevrolet Camaro SS. Justin, welcome to Big Boy Stories. First, time, first of all, how old are you? I'm 16. 16, and look at his car, girls. And your daddy said that he believed you could take him. Oh, I know I could. <laughs> I know I could. Tell me about your Camaro. Well, it's a 67 SS. It's a true SS 350 car. It's a, got a 383 stroker in it and a four-speed Muncie transmission, 355 rear gear in it. It's got three-inch flow mode. And your dad said this one pushing, what, about 450? That's about right. You drive it to school? Nah. What you drive to school? Uh, I got a little truck I drive to school. Oh, so you just drive this on the weekend? Yeah. Where you from? Outside of center. I bet the, I bet the girls love to go riding when you on Saturday night, won't they? Oh, yes, sir. 16 years old and got a car with 450 horsepower. I was talking to your dad earlier when you went to crank it up the pump come on i thought it was a fuel pump but he said it was the power disc brake yes sir it's a reservoir that's in the front and it keeps from pulling so much vacuum off the engine so it, it, it was an add-on put on there to, just to build up the brakes before you crank it up yes sir what made you pick the camara i just like the body style i like the way they look get one fast they don't weigh too much now you're in, you're in high school i know up here in center right yes sir you got a lot of them uh center uh high school kids is fixing up them little mishibishis and the hondas and stuff not too many mostly trucks so they don't jump on you much no nah. they jump on your truck you said let me go home i'll be right back yep now, what's some of the shows y'all take it to? Well, we just got finished with the interior and finished doing some other stuff, and this is the first show we've taken it to since we've got it all finished, but mostly it's just cruise-ins around here. Now, how long you been working on it? We've had it about a year, and a lot of it was already done, but we just had to put the finishing touches on it, finish the interior, and do some stuff under the engine and stuff. Your dad won't let you drive at 55 school? Nah, won't drive it. Why? It don't, don't sound good enough, does it? It's too slow. Slow! Now, who built this engine? This is a machine shop engine company out of Arizona. Oh, I started to say, didn't your dad have something to do with this motor? They would probably build that to take you if he wanted to. <laughs> no. Anything else you got to do to it? We got some emblems on the fenders that we got to put on there, but other than that, that's it. Is that the, the, the Chevrolet emblem? Just the Camaro emblem that's on the side in front of the door right there. Now, the wheels and tires, did you pick them out or your dad? Or? They were already on there, but that's what we'd have probably put on there anyway. Now, did it have the stroker motor and all that in it when you built yeah. it? or? Yes, sir. When you bought it? I mean. Yes, it was already in there, that and the transmission. The rear gear had a 410 rear gear in it, but we changed the rear gear out. That's kind of hard driving at the car shows and all with a 410 positive traction, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. Because you 16 years old, you have to mow a lot of grass to buy gas. Yeah. <laughs> with that motor with a 410. Uh, yeah. It'd get, it'd get up and go. It still does. It's, it's pretty cool. you're 16 years old, you ain't learned how to drive it good yet, have you? I don't know about that. When did you start driving? You say you had a year to, I, you helped him work on it and get it ready for you, right? Yes, sir. I've, I've been driving the car since we bought it, but I've been driving a couple years now. Mm -hmm. So nothing else you want to do to it but just put the emblems on it and drive it? I guess so. You got to haul it to car shows if you go a long ways. Oh, yeah. We, we got stuff to haul it with. Because the way it sounds, I don't think you can put uh, 97 Mach 10 gas in it. <laughs> no. Well, I'll tell you what, it's a good looking vehicle. I appreciate you being on the show. All right. We'll be right Thank back. You. Let me tell you about a new place right there, Emory Crossroads, exit 165 off of I 20, Lincoln, Alabama, Donna's Convenience Store, and Jackson's Restaurant. Both locations in one place. They got boat launch, they got storage for your boat. Restaurant, open just about all the time. 5 a.m. to 9 p.m., Monday through Saturday, Sunday 6 to 9 p.m. They have lunch specials each and every day. At night, you can get a steak, one of the best steaks around, right there at Jackson's Restaurant. Convenience store, got ice cold beverages, 
Also got that great Exxon gas. Stop by today or give them a call at 205-763-1455. Hey, buddy, it's Barry Miller. Let me tell you about a place that has 50 years combined experience in the following areas. Personal injury, bankruptcy, divorce, DUI, criminal defense, child custody, and even workman's compensation. I'm talking about Merle, Merle, Matthews, and Allen right here on Layton Avenue in Aniston. They have free consultation on personal injury cases. Contact Jake Matthews, Ronald Allen, or Stanley Allen at this firm, and they will give you the best legal advice around in this area. You know, they say that when you go to court, always take an attorney with you. When you take one of these attorneys, you take the best. Give them a call today, 256-236-5063. Let me tell you about the best kept secret in Northeast Alabama. Sider Ridge Golf Club in Oxford, Alabama is one of the most beautiful golf courses you will ever play on. They have a pro shop with special prices on some of the most popular name brands of golf and equipment. With the banquet room and staff, they can also handle any type of golf tournament or just a corporate or small group function. Lonnie Reese, the PGA pro and manager, also has golf lessons for people of all ages. Call or visit Sider Ridge Golf Club today. Tell them you heard about them on Big Boys Toys and receive a special discount on that next great round of golf. Next vehicle, Steve Turner, a 1974 Chevrolet Corvette. Steve, welcome to Big Boys Toys. Glad to be here. Tell me about your vent. I've had the car about a year and a half. Uh, it was painted and side pipes, wheels were on it, and I've replaced the interior as convertibles go. They kind of get some damage after about four years. The car was in World of Wheels, I think, four years ago, and guy bought it from here in Alabama, I believe. I just had replaced all the interior about three months ago and put a lot of chrome on the engine. All the engine is chrome. Uh, we run the numbers when I bought the car, and it's supposedly uh, one of 790 produced because of the close ratio, four speed, and the, of course it's all still in there, and the tight rear ends in it, and this and that, when you run the numbers, it knocks it down to one of 790 produced, and it's about 400 horsepower. Yeah, it's got the 350, L82? Uh, 350, yes, sir. You said it had the Krager wheels and all that on it when you got it? It had Krager wheels on it. I now have a set of Krager wheels, and those are the shiniest wheels I've ever, mags I've ever had in my life. They right. seem to shine up better than any well, set of Krager's, if you, if you remember back when we was teenagers, we'd throw them rally wheels away, throw them in the backyard, and put Krager's or Keystone's. That's the only two yeah. wheels uh-huh. that you put on a car. Yeah, I was impressed with when I got it with the way they shine up, but uh, I've had a lot of mag wheels in my life. I used to drive 57 Chevrolets like you. You know, I got the same color you do there, yeah. I think. Yeah, and you know, like I, my, my 75 Stingray's got the original 8 inch rallies on it. Does it really? And I was telling God the other day, you could buy two sets of these with them rallies that cost you, them 8 inches yeah. now, because mm-hmm. everybody wants them. Uh, now, what color is that? Like a burgundy? Or? I think it's a milli metallic red, is what they call that. And a lot of people don't realize back in the 70s, now these vents come with an alarm system on them. You, yeah. I see your key over there, uh-huh. right in front of the Stingray, where you can actually turn the alarm on or turn it off. You know, I didn't know what that was until I bought the car. I always wondered what it was also. And another thing about a 74, when I was growing up, what impressed me about a Corvette was the flags on the uh, lid for the gas tank. I couldn't wait to get one with the flags. And when I got that car home, 74 is the only year that don't come with flags. Out of all the Corvettes made, <laughs> it don't come with the flags on the gas tank lid. <laughs> so <I> just <laughs> and growing up as a kid, that always impressed me. But uh, does the alarm still work on it? No. And they, they, they tell me they break when you get it off the factory. <laughs> I, I started saying, if you want one of the horns, my 75, I had it on the lift, I don't know, last year. It actually had the alarm system that come on it. And my cousin, when he bought it, he made them at the Chevrolet place before he even took it home. They filled in that hole. They took Did they really? They, they took the key and all out of it. He didn't want the alarm. And they filled in the hole. But you look up on, the, on my wheel. Well, it's back here at the back, right up here at the top, and there's the horn. It's still there, but it's not hooked up because they took all the, everything else out of it. Uh-huh. But they done it from Chevrolet, but they just left that up there for some reason. Yeah, I drove the car uh, three months ago. I think Eckler had a show down in uh, Orlando. And first, my big show, and it took me 10 hours to drive from Atlanta. That's where I'm from, and uh, driving 55 and dodging rocks, you know, going down the expressway. But uh, my class was a custom one, and it was uh, 53 to uh, uh, 82 class. <laughs> and I was just tickled to death. I got third place with it, and all in cars. So it was 244 Corvettes down there. So. Well, that's a gorgeous Corvette. And the, the people that put the side pipes on it, they knew what they was doing. They knew what they was doing. I like doing more thing to it. It's got one four barrel on it, but uh, I like to get three twos on it sooner or later. Yeah. Maybe maybe in the fall. You change it up. Put three this, twos on it. Look good with three twos. I was, I was kind of nostalgic in that year. It's been a lot of fun. Well, I'll tell you what, that's a good looking Corvette. Well, appreciate appreciate you being on the show. Thanks for having me. Ladies and gentlemen, while you're sitting here, I want to thank you for watching Big Boys Toys this week. We're in Cedar Bluff, the Liberty Day a show they have up here. If you haven't never been up here, you've got to come up to Cedar Bluff. They have it the Saturday before the 4th of July every year. And I would guesstimate it's three, 400 cars here. Mm-hmm. 
Vendors everywhere. Ladies, you'll have something to do because there's craft vendors, there's food, anything you want to do. Cedar Bluff's got it. The whole town is full of cars, vendors, food, you name it, is here. Good food. Thanks for watching the show this week. And like I say, each and every week, you remember the sponsors on this backboard. If it wasn't for the sponsors, you couldn't watch the show each and every week. They're the ones, and the car owners keeps Big Boys Toys alive. We've been going six years, and they're the people that does it. Tell everybody goodbye. Goodbye. Enjoyed it. We'll see you next time on Big Boys Toys.